Both the northern blot from question 4 and the RT-PCR from question 5 failed to distinguish between the wild type allele and the point mutation A allele. Their bands on the gels in both of those cases looked identical. So we still need to be able to distinguish that A allele from the wild type allele. And the question here is, how are we going to do that? And the answer, the simple answer, is sequencing. That's the same approach that we used when we wanted to tell the difference between the A allele and wild type in DNA. But with RNA, we're going to have to do an additional step because we can't directly sequence the RNA itself. So the first step that we're going to do is going to be RT-PCR. And the second step that we're going to do is then to sequence the product. So if we're going to do RT-PCR, we need to have um, PCR primers, and we'll design the forward and reverse primers to flank the point mutation. So we're going to use those primers. Then for the sequencing step, after we have our RT-PCR product and we want to sequence it, we'll be able to use either one of those primers for sequencing. So we can just use the same primer, except for we'll only need to use one of them.